Big Snake actually just discovered that just now in this battle. It was innocent before, and had never tried inhaling the fumes, the smoke, from an oddish or gloom, but it just tried it, and... It just became a little more quirky, let's just say that. Here I am, back in Marvel, City of Sin. And we need to see what Watson wants. So let's find out. Let's find out what Watson wants. Oh, booger. You look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing. <laughs> I've decided I need a favor, booger. Moville City has an underground sector called New Moville. Booger, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. Here, this is the key to get into New Moville. Should have known. Don't you worry about it. It won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Moville is just a short surf away from Rat 110. That's it. Then you have my trust. <laughs> Can you believe this? You know what's going on here. You know what's going on here. Back when I first went to Marville, I caught on. I caught on to the stench of corruption in this city, and I instantly sensed that Watson is tied in with the game corner. He owns part of it, at least. Maybe all of it. He's lining his pockets for his gym, his expensive electric gym traps, with casino profits. He knows I know. And he wants to off me. That's what this is about. He's sending me on a dangerous mission to an unstable generator in a power plant, hoping I'll get electrified to death. He knows it's a deadly mission. He wants that to happen. He's probably sent many... He's probably sent many people who've discovered that very thing on this same mission, and I'm sure none of them have come back. But he doesn't know Booger. He doesn't know Booger's strength. My Pokemon won't succumb to whatever's in here. Definitely not. Certainly, certainly not. I will put... a Grass-type in front. since they're resistant to electricity. Shh. Team Aqua Graffiti. <laughs> and then Team Magma. I think in Sapphire, there's only one team's graffiti here. I like how, in this version, they're, they're kind of more competitive. It seems each of the teams are more active in Emerald, whereas in Sapphire, it was just one of them. And I assume one of them in the Ruby, too. Probably just Team Magma more in Ruby. It's very suspicious. It's very suspicious that, um... Watson was just standing there, right right at the intersection in the middle of Mauville that I was, you know, headed towards to go further east from the city. He knew he knew he could caught, he'd catch me there. Makes me wonder where his spies have been watching me. Use the basement key. Not 
not ominous at all that we're in a cave and there's a sealed off door. New Marville, they call it. New Marville. It's just a weird basement full of junk and cardboard boxes. I don't really understand why it's called New Marville. Just something else suspicious about this city. An underground hidden area where who knows what has, you know, who knows who's been here and what has happened here in this place. I might want my fastest Pokemon at the front of the team. How fast are they? 62. They're about even. Hmm. Sinfen's got them all beat. So, paradoxically, I'll put a water type in front. I assume I needed to press that one. That spinning was unnecessary, Magnemite. Unnecessary show, I don't care. Not impressed. I did not press that one. This music seems familiar to me. Like, I wonder if I've heard it in an earlier Pokemon game. I can't recall for sure. I feel like it was in some other ominous place, though. This tune. I don't necessarily have to get every item here, but... I'm going to see what I can find. I think that I see the stairs down further, so I should probably turn back. Yeah, that's the entrance. Damn it. Watson was hoping all of the Magnemate and Voltorb here would just kill us, take us out. He should know better. We're not that weak. Not even gonna fight any of them. I mainly want to get my experience from just trainer battles. I don't want to have to waste time with kind of boring wild battles if I don't have to level grind, you know? I think if I just fight all the trainers, my team should get strong enough. The only wild Pokemon we fight and dispatch are those who wrong us. Like, if one of my Pokemon gets killed by some renegade wild Pokemon, we'll punish it. We'll make sure it doesn't get away without paying. What else is up here? Uh huh. Uh oh. It was a trap. I don't care though, I can just run. What was the what was that Voltorb even trying to do? Pathetic. Good. Slowly I'm making my way. I do have escape ropes. I'll probably use one whenever I'm done with my mission so I don't have to trek out of here. One way through is enough. Just 
bunch of junk everywhere. Kind of looks like people could be building things down here. Doing who knows what. Bunch of sus suspicious equipment all over. Actually, wait. This could be a really good time to use a repel. Let's see if it works. As long as they aren't too strong, I think it should work. Real nice heal, real nice. Still can't avoid ones that pull me into making their items. have some stuff to sell. Found a star piece, I think, last time. I get back to Marvel. Make a trip to the Pokemon Mart. Pokemon Mart. Oh, heal. Nice. And look at this. No. Oh, look at that. We've already made it. There's the giant red button you press. It's kind of weird, but I guess it's just an emergency shut off button you just stand on. Thunderstone. That's cool. Oh, what the hell was that? That was a wild Pokemon. Turned off as soon as possible. And of course, a young child is the one to do that. Not, not the Marvel gym leader. He knows what he was doing sending me here. Nice. That didn't take long. Let's escape rope out of here. I don't know how I used that rope, but I used it. And now I'm out. I'll bet Watson would be totally surprised. Not only that I'm alive, but how quick, how quickly we took care of that. I think the repel helped. Let's just get by the Pokemon real quick. Oh, I have energy powder. Could use that for healing. Sell this. Sell these. Nice. Almost 10,000. People pay lots for these drugs. These performance enhancing drugs. PB up I save. Might use that. That's one thing I might want to use. Oh, I forgot. Um, let me check something real quick. Let's see if the harbor mail addict wants any more harbor mail. Need any more? No, she's good. Apparently. You know she's just gonna want more eventually, though. Do not need that. Do not need this. Nice. Getting rich. What would this be worth? Huh. I don't want to just sell a Thunderstone. That seems like a rare item you should maybe... Maybe just hang on to. I don't know. Pretty much no, I won't use it, but still I'm hesitant to get rid of it. Hey Watson, surprised I'm still alive? <laughs> I knew it, Booger. Uh, 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 I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks. A TM containing Thunderbolt. 
and a gift to keep you quiet. Go on, you've earned it. That's about all you can do right now. His his trap his his um plan to have me offed didn't work, so now he's just trying to keep me silent with bribes. Because he recognizes my power. <laughs> it pleases me to no end to see the young step up and take charge. Mm-hmm. I need to get out of this town. It's just dangerous. It's just dangerous here. You get you get mixed up with shady people here in Marvel. It's like It's like the one city in Hoan you really want to avoid. Just pass through it quickly. Pass through it quickly, don't linger in any alleys. Okay. And finally, we can head east. Take a look at the map for a moment. Yeah, I could go that way. I'll have to visit Mount Pyre at some point. But I don't think I need to just yet. I'd rather head north to Fortree. Am I good on super potions and everything? Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Here's that reporter again. The sea stick in front. They need to see sea stick's power 100% again. Sea stick is always going to be on the team that fights against them to broadcast its message of doom. Um, who should join it? Wactus. Definitely whacked us. Those two are the Doom Duo. Grass type Doom Dark Grass Dark Doom Duo. Time to broadcast another message. I remember. I remember. We'll show you. We will show you. Witness our power. Witness the power of Seedistic and Wactus. Oh, nice. I can rock smash either of them effectively. I don't like that magnemate. I don't like the way it's one eye is looking at me. Poff it. It must be eliminated first. Excellent. That magnemate's giving Wactus the evil eye. We don't like that. Oh, and then it attacked Sedistic. Very clever. Giving one the evil eye and then attacking the one you're not looking at. It's too late for you, though. Your sonic boom will come to nothing. Sonic boom and supersonic. Trying to use sonic warfare against us. How dare you. Go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, um, go ahead and sand attack it. Yeah, mess with its stats. And it was a ghost move? Pretty stupid using it on a dark type. Now Bullet Seed. The time has come for Bullet Seed and Pin Missile. Unleash Fury. Unleash both of your Fury... Furies upon this thing.
Yes. Four times. It's not over for you. Now you get pin missiled. Endless torment and torture. Fuck, only two times. Maybe not endless. Maybe it ends after two times occasionally. If you're unlucky. Come on. It's okay. Wartus. Wartus is young. It has time to learn the art of war. Do I get another interview now? Yes, I hope you got it all on camera. Destroyed. That's right. That was our message to the world last time. That's what it will be soon. We remember. Yes. We need to update. We need to update um, the world on its ending, perhaps? Let's see, what do we got here? What can we say? Hmm. I won't take too long. None of those. Feelings? Danger? Danger is not bad. <laughs> Disappoint. Disaster. Fear. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. What else we got? What else we got? Miscellaneous. This is it? What is it? Time? End? Finish? <laughs> soon. <laughs> that might be good. Just say, soon. <laughs> soon. They know what will happen soon. They know what we mean. I might go with that. That's not bad. Let's say soon. Because we're not like, we're not quite at the, you know, time to um, unleash our punishment upon the world. We're not quite ready, but soon. Soon. Soon you will all meet your end. <laughs> soon you will learn Never to wrong sadistic. Realistically, what just happened is I stood in front of the camera for about five minutes saying absolutely nothing, and then I just said, Soon. I was making up my mind what to say that whole time, but the build up is what made it have the impact. <laughs> Soon. Soon you will meet your end. Oh, come on. Such good times. I love having a fun time with my Pokemon in Hoenn. Be gone, Tentacool. Tentacool. More like Tentafool. Your tentacle's stupid, because a bubble beam to grass type. Nice. 
I wonder when Wactus evolves. I'm really looking forward to its evolution. Carvana. Hmm. You can take it, Wactus. Sheed, then I'm absorb. Damn it. Rage. That'll be futile. Critical hit, still futile. Fuck. Why is your Carbana so evasive? Might have to bail it out. Leech Sheed doesn't have perfect accuracy. What is its accuracy? It's serious. I don't know if I noticed that before. 90. It works most of the time. Let's see if I can stick it out. I think it might be able to survive. Nice. Wow, I didn't expect Absorb to do that much. I know it's super effective, but it's also super weak. You weren't. You were not doing okay in your training. You spent too much time fishing. He knows it. Yeah. You were doing things in half measures, you see? You divide your time 50-50, Pokemon training and fishing. You're gonna get half-assed results. At least he caught on. At least he caught on to the fact that he spread his effort then other people don't. Oh, it's Steven. What was his voice? Ah, oh, I remember. I think I remember. Hang on. Hi, Booger! It's me, Steven! We met in the cave near Duford. Have you met any... Have you met many kinds of Pokémon since I last saw you? There are many, many kinds of Pokémon in this wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokémon. As a trainer of Pokémon, what do you think? Of course, it's not any of my business. It would be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. I don't know what to think in. I just don't know how to read in, you know? What are you thinking, Steven? I can never tell. I think there are bird keepers around here. I think I might be surrounded by a couple bird keepers right now. Um, let's, uh... Let's try Sinfin. I don't think I've ever had Sinfin in battle yet. Let's try him out. Um, since he evolved, that is, became a Sharpedo. No, they're not. I'm gonna shoot him down. My 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 Sharpedo is going to flop around on the ground and launch itself into the sky and just crunch your wingle. Visualize this. Visualize a Sharpedo just launching itself up, hurling itself by flopping around into the air and just catching a wingle midair in its jaws and crunching it to death instantly.
That would be some violent act to behold. Oof. It was more than a crash. It was a gore. Your wingle was gored by a sharpedo. It shouldn't be televised. I do have great Pokemon. Thank you for noticing. They're great at goring yours. Take flight and get gored by a sharpedo, you mean. I finished that for you. Ah, Taylo. Scourge of Hoenn. One less Taylo in Hoenn means that everyone will be safer. They're more dangerous than Sharpedo, actually. More people get their eyes eaten, eyes pecked out and eaten by Taylo than get gored by a Sharpedo every year. That's statistics of Hoenn. Swallow. Swallow. Hmm. I'm enjoying Sinfin. Just biting them all out of the sky. Crunch them out of the sky. Getting pumped to be bitten out of the sky? Apparently. You're welcome. Sinfin likes poultry. They took flight and then were snatched out of flight by the jaws of death. Pokemon. Neat. here. Uh, just some trees. I don't need berries. I'm not gonna mess with any of that berry blending shit. We have no time for that. We don't participate in contests. We only participate in warfare. What do you have to say? Well, get off your bike then, dingus. Let's see who's lurking in the, in the grass here. Probably some trainers to fight. Man. Sinfin is just, uh... Nothing has threatened it so far. Since evolving. It has just crunched the shit out of everything. Let's see if that can continue. It's a dark type using a pretty powerful dark type move, so not surprising. The Mimic Circle? What cult is this? So many weird, obscure little cults in corners of Hoenn. There's also that cult that is obsessed with the move Secret Power. Maybe I should have talked to that guy in the slate port. Uh, now that I know, now that I have Secret Power, the TM. Maybe now that I have it, he would, end up, you know, let me into his cult. And I could destroy it from the inside. Crunch, crunch that ninja -esque. Wow. Crunch from a, a Sharpedo is devastating, as it should be. You shouldn't really be able to, you know, take too many crunches from a shark. Sinfin. 
So cool. I won't join your mimic circle because I don't like joining cults. So creepy. Look at them. Look at them move when I move. Who does this? I I have to get rid of these these people. I'm irritated that they're watching my movements and mimicking them. They won't keep us company for long. We will make them disappear. Donald. A Wormple. A Wormple he sends. He sends a Wormple to its death against a Sharpedo. This is too easy. Oh, you have a beauty fly. I have a plan. I have a plan for it. It's, um, flammable, isn't your beauty fly? Well done, beauty fire. Nice. It's three. Plus three special attack. Very good. Ooh, a dark move. Could that be foreshadowing of a dark type in its future? Foreshadow. Get it? Um. Well, it has to learn this. It must know faint attack. That's like the most common, most reliable sort of dark date move. Mm. Sand attack is useful sometimes, but we're not going to stick with that long term. Silcoon. It can burn too. More like Singed Coon. Singed Coon. It's now just a blackened little black bowl of silk. Charred silk. Yeah, he wishes we'd never met. Damn right. That's exactly what I want everybody to think after I've destroyed them. Nope. You can't mimic me. See? He's done. The spirit is broken. I will break all of them. I know you're a member of this cult, and I'm going to punish you. Catcher Greg, you're not even a bug maniac. You're small time, and you have a Volbeat. Should have had Big Snake out. Oh, Signal Beam. That's super effective, isn't it? You asshole. At least it didn't take me down. I'll have the last crunch. So that's one thing. Sinpin, slightly low defenses, so a little vulnerable. A little bit glass cannon. Burn this other one. Man, it's good to have flamethrower. Your Illumise is ashes. Nothing remains. You won't be healing that one at a Pokemon Center. They can't put ashes back into a living state. 
That's a lie. See? You're done too. I will defeat all of them, breaking their spirits so that they have no motivation to mimic anyone ever again. Or at least until they heal their Pokemon. Going from Marvel City to breaking up a cult. Can you believe it? Never ends. Put Bake Snake out. And, um. Don't heal anybody yet. Already got him. Aha! You're still moving. That's how I identify. Those who must still be dealt with. Uh, for now. You feel the will to move now. You won't soon. Taylor. Oh, am I going to bake this wormble? Let Bake Snake expand its palate. You know, burning all sorts of different prey items and devouring them in front of their trainer's eyes. That's what it does. If it wants to. If, if it wants to eat a Pokemon it cooks, I let it. I just let it. I like to spoil Big Snake. Heh. <laughs> Whirlwind. Failed. Loser. Protect. Fuck off. You can't do that forever. Okay, Scoon, send it out. Easy flamethrower target. Nice. Big Snake had it in for that one. Who remains? Where's your leader? I want to take the leader down. Leader of this mimic cult. Heh. <laughs> it's burning him up. And I used Flamethrower to kill all his Pokemon. It's perfect. It's burning you up in more ways than one. Oh no, not avoiding. I was looking for you. I was seeking you in the grass. I was stalking you, Doug. So that I can burn your Ninkata alive. Prepare. For your dismal fate. Ask. Very good. Send it in. Double team. Didn't help. Double team, more like double scream, as you're burnt alive. Nice. Pokemon are getting strong. Yes, you danced well for me. You danced well for me in the flames of Big Snake's Fury. Anybody else? There's at least one more, I think. Yes. Damn, Zigzagoon. Zig 
you mimic what I do. You mimic what I do temporarily. Until I undo all of your Pokemon. And teach you a lesson. Your Surskit can't do any water sport. What do you expect that thing to do? That's all he had. I don't need to understand. All I need to do is destroy you. Oh no. Is there another one? Are you the leader? Nah. I guess they can move. Again, some of them. Let's... Leave this place. What the fuck, Linoon? Fuck off, Linoon. I don't want to deal with your shit. Are you serious? Okay. This is one of those examples where a wild Pokemon pisses me off and it needs to be punished. I'm going to undo your world, Linoon. You will regret being born, let alone messing with my big snake. You'll see. Not afraid. If you're saying to attack, I can switch if I need you. You will be punished. You will not escape. You will be punished. Three sand attacks? What a pain in the ass. I want to kill it even more. Sometimes you just gotta teach them a lesson. There you go. Critical hit. Very good. Damn it. Why not of this tall grass now? That's right, you don't need a whole flock. A tailo can fly you around, it doesn't matter. What the hell? Why are there this many Wingle here? My Pelipper's... Helican is particularly disturbed, it wants to know why this person has so many of its... of its kind. Like, what is this operation? Are you breeding Wingle to sell them? Did you steal all these Wingle to sell them? What are you doing? Cave of Origin? Nothing about the Wingle. Notice how she doesn't explain herself or the situation in this house whatsoever. This is so... This is so shady. I'm out of here. I don't want to be involved in whatever is happening there. Fisherman, huh? Mm. Not, not Sinvin. Um, how about, how about Wactus? Keep getting experience. What did you get while surfing here? A magic herb. That's new challenge. Why hasn't he evolved it? It's level 29. What the hell? Why would you not evolve your magic herb if it's post level 20? Fisherman Chris, you lack common sense. 
tentacle. Yeah, let's do Space Snake. I'm excited to get fly. I'm excited to be able to use my Pelipper as both a boat and a plane. Like a seaplane. Cessna with floats, that's what I said before. That's what it's going to be like. Float plane, I guess you call it. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Phoebus. I don't think you catch Phoebus by surfing here. I'm pretty sure you get it by fishing in six particular squares on the route that are randomized every time you play a game. I actually caught a Phoebus in my Sapphire playthrough recently. I've got Pokemon Sapphire with a dead battery just like this cartridge. I've had that one since I was a kid. And I had never tried raining a Phoebus into a Melodic before. I was a little worried about the battery being dead because you need to feed the Phoebus tons of Pokeblocks of a certain kind basically to do that, evolve it. You have to max out its beauty, kind of. It's essentially how it evolves. I didn't know if I could do that with a limited supply of berries, you know. Just the initial berries you find on the trees as you go. But I did it. It worked. Turns out I had just enough. As long as you get a Phoebus with the right nature that likes those Pokeblocks. That's what you have to consider if your battery's dead, which most most of these cartridges have dead batteries now, unless you've replaced them. Honestly, just a big pain in the ass. It was fun having a Melodic when I played Sapphire recently. It did... It did make itself useful in battle. It was strong. Under cover, I like that move a lot. But... I'd rather not mess around with that crap. I like my Sharpedo that evolves regardless of what its beauty is, you know? Who cares about beauty? Fuck that superficial shit. It is indescribably luxuriant, isn't it? I haven't even tried that yet. He gets, he gets the most out of life, that fisherman. He enjoys the small moments. Alright. Let's continue north. Oh, I need, um... I need Acro Bike if I want to go that way. I'm pretty close to Marvel. I could... If I want to go back to, like, make a trip where I heal and get the acrobike, I could do that. Hmm. Why would you want a secret base in a big pile of grass? That sounds like a poor choice of shelter. You think we're traveling late? I have my Pokemon. That, that's all I really need to destroy everything in my path and also to use HMs. They do it all. My Pokemon team is self sufficient. A Gloom. Hmm. I have options for Wactus to deal with a Gloom. Let's try it. It's not dark type yet, so I don't think that'll be too powerful. Fuck. Poison us. I was a little afraid of its poison abilities. 
I don't want to mess around with poison. I don't think I can kill it quickly with Wactus. Let's burn this thing. Acid as well. That was a poor matchup. You won't survive that though. So awesome. I never get tired of seeing it use flamethrower. It just it just burnt that gloom and probably got high off its smoke of the the gloom. I think because Oddish looks like a marijuana leaf, you could probably you could probably get high off of burning one of those. <laughs> That's the other thing Big Snake does. Sometimes it cooks its opponents to eat them, but if it's a grass type, maybe it'll maybe it'll uh, burn up that plant type and uh, inhale whatever smoke comes off it. You know. See what high it can get. Roselia has got to be top shelf shit. Smoke this Roselia. Nice. I think I think Big Snake actually just discovered that just now in this battle. It was innocent before and had never tried inhaling the fumes, the smoke from an oddish or gloom, but it just tried it and it just became a little more quirky. Let's just say that. <laughs> it just became a little more quirky. It's got a new um, it's got a new vase and a new use for its flamethrower. that poison. Oh. Okay. You know, it might be good should I keep going? I might just keep going a little bit. Let's at least fight another trainer or a few. Pokemon Rangers? What, like Walker, Texas Ranger? Could you do a roundhouse kick? Braytham. I trained this in Sapphire recently. Fighting Grass. Let's pin missile it. If I can. Okay. I'll have to switch. <laughs> it's okay, Wactus. You're you're learning. You're getting better. You, you'll get there. Little little cactus of death. So, a Breathing Fighting Grass. Let's put, let's put Helican in. A flying move will do well, very well here. Sure didn't. And you can't rend a house kick apparently, so I don't know why you're a ranger. Why do you even try? Mm, I can't guarantee I won't mock your lack of knowledge. I'm probably gonna mock it. I'll probably mock it. Who's this? Is this a double battle? I feel like. This route is more dense with trainers in Emerald. Generally, I just feel like Cohen is more dense with trainers in Emerald. I think I've noticed that change. A little more challenging. I like that. Gym leader is a little more tough. A little more Pokemon. Um, it's a little dangerous to send two grass types in. If 
this is a double battle. Go ahead and uh, do that. She just took strong though. Let's go ahead and risk it. Wait, he looks like a bird trainer. I think he's a bird trainer user dude. Bird trainer user dude. Let's change our strategy. And Helicon up there. And Big Snake. I just have a feeling one of them is a bird, bird keeper. See, I knew it. I don't think those blonde-haired trainers are ever anything but bird, bird keepers. At least that seems to be the case most of the time, at least. Okay, this is okay. Let's go... Let's go ahead and use Poison Tail... ...on this willow. And surf both of them. That's your critical hit. Weak. I feel like my Pokemon team is really beginning to blossom. You never know if the Pokemon you're going to try using are going to do well or not. It's a little bit of an experiment using new Pokemon, and these are all new for me. I'm pleased with their performance. I still have my I'm glad I still have my mock bike because that'll allow me to get up this little slope here but I didn't go back to get an acro bike yet I'm probably gonna do that at some point though where's my key items here we go I guess that's just a little shortcut, not really necessary. You're not getting into any secrets up here. Another Wingle trainer. Do none of them have Pelipper? Can't any of you evolve your Wingle? Well, how am I the only one who has a Pelipper? Yes, that's interesting. That's a pretty interesting Pokemon. I kind of been, I've been mildly tempted to train one in the past, but I've never gotten around to it. Um, just uh, yeah, Big Snake can burn it. It's got some banana-like fruits hanging off its ear. Roast those bananas. Roast the fruit and the rest of the Pokemon they're attached to as well. Running out of flamethrower. Flamethrower fuel.
Could have also just used Poison Tail. Fake Snake is exceptionally well equipped for taking down grass types. Can also deal with ice types. With Flamethrower. Or bug types. Let's take care of these two jokers. You like kid trainers? Let's have a good what? Let's have a good what? I don't know if I want to know. Ah, devil battle against you too, huh? Eh? You dare threaten us with pain? You will feel the pain. Ninja boy. Dayton and Takashi. Prepare to meet the Pokemon who will be the instruments of your doom. I even have a good, I even have the right Pokemon out to totally destroy these two. Look at this. Just too easy, you know. They're not going to survive this turn. They're done. Be washed away in a deluge. A tidal wave. A tsunami. A Mehelican. Oh, and a new mole. Even better. And that's before... See, his ninjask was almost washed away by Surf. And then it gets the flamethrower. Nice. Coughing. It's kind of a unique choice. Go ahead and see if it's... See if you can ignite it. it. You know, it emits gas. It might be ignitable. Yeah. Poor Surf will take it down. Surprisingly, <gasps> this is evolving. Yes, so exciting. Look at it. Oh, look, it's a little dance. Look at that little dance. It's all happy to have evolved. Turn. So awesome. You're a weirdo. It's weird that you like kids and that you're hanging out with this ninja boy kid. I have no nothing nothing else to say. We don't need to go. We don't need to go any further than that. Damn, another one of these insolent linoons. I'll put you in your place. Glare at it with hatred and intent to kill, Big Snake. And now make it pay. Again, irritated by one of these linoon. It's the tentacle of the land. Can't run away just because Big Snake's a little bit slow. Just a little bit too slow, I guess. What? You're... You have a berry. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, fuck you. Get burnt. Yeah, that'll tease you. Don't fuck with Big Snake. 
Elixir, very nice. Oh, look at this. We've arrived at the Weather Institute. And a blockade by Team Aqua. Well, if you don't want me near the Weather Institute, why are you blocking the bridge that leads away from the Weather Institute? They leave the Weather Institute open, nobody guarding it. Why are you not standing in front of the Weather Institute? Are you an idiot? They're idiots. They've left me no other option, literally no other option, but going inside the Weather Institute. They're funneling me into the Weather Institute while they tell me not to go into the Weather Institute. Stupid. Hmm. PC. Nice. I may actually withdraw a Pokemon. Um, I have a reason for doing this that will become very clear shortly. I'm just going to go ahead and take Mudskiff into my party. Temporarily. Not going to use it. No plans to use it. I just... There's there's a reason for this, trust me. There's a good reason. It's only for a little bit. Hmm. Well... Team Aqua stupidly funneled me into the Weather Institute, where I will be funneled into taking down every Team Aqua member inside in the next episode. Saved game. Good. I'll take care of them next time.